New details this morning after troopers say a pedestrian died in a hit and run crash in Greenville County. That happened last night about 820 on Cedar Lane Road at West Parker Road. They say a pedestrian was walking in the road when they were hit by an unknown vehicle. That vehicle left the scene. The coroner hasn't released the victim's name, but an autopsy is scheduled for today. This is an ongoing investigation. A traffic note for drivers, the I-85 northbound off ramp at exit 90 in Gaffney is temporarily closed and will remain that way for about 30 days. During this time, northbound traffic will remain on I-85 to exit 92. Take the off ramp, then turn left onto West Floyd Baker Boulevard. Drivers will then turn back onto I-85 southbound and return to exit 90. And something for Spartanburg County drivers to know about. You may notice new signs being put up by state transportation officials. DOT officials say a traffic study was conducted at the intersection of highways 357 and 358 in Lyman, which is currently a two-way stop. The intersection is north of Lyman Elementary School and DR Hill Middle School, just west of Lyman Lake. A new four-way stop will go into effect on Tuesday, October 10th. In North Carolina, a new emergency room is headed to Western Buncombe County. Mission Health says its certificate of need has been approved. We're told the ER will be near the intersection of Smoky Park Highway and I-40 on Crowell Road. Mission Health says the new location will be a fully functioning ER with 12 patient rooms. On-site diagnostic imaging like x-ray and ultrasound scans and clinical labs. The ER will be open 24-7. Mission Health says work on the new location will begin soon on the already purchased land. An upstate high school marching band will soon be in the international spotlight. The Lord Mayor of Westminster formally invited the Pride of Riverside to participate in the London New Year's Day Parade in 2025. This is just a snapshot of the achievement that they've uh, been able to receive for that hard work. And, um, you know, the, each student in this band is, is special. I was just in shock. I didn't believe it at first. I thought he was kidding. And then he... He wasn't kidding, <laughs> and I, I was super, super excited. Organizers say more than 10,000 groups from the U.S., U.K., and Europe participate in the parade. The event attracts a street audience of more than 500,000 each year. The TV audience reaches more than 500 million. Furman University is celebrating 50 years of its Diamond F logo. The university says student athlete Dennis Ziegler created the logo in 1973. He says the concept was born from a request from former head football coach Art Baker. Now, the art major Zeger drew the new image and was paid $25. In today's money, it's about 172 bucks. From the university registered the diamond aft as a trademark, trademark excuse me, in 2003. Students and faculty at the Bob Jones Academy are helping preserve the stories of our nation's heroes. 11th graders in U.S. history class are participating in the Veterans History Project at the Library of Congress. Students interview veterans who share firsthand accounts of their experience fighting for America's freedom. The students then submit their work to the VHP collection at the Library of Congress. The project not only teaches students about the importance of history, but also about conversations. It didn't hit home, you know, until 9-11. And I, going back into schools now, like my son's age and stuff, some of these kids have no idea some of the hardships that were faced by the previous generations. And I think it's our duty to go in um, and share our story with the next generation and inspire them to go back and pick up the flag where we left off and serve the country. This is the second year BGA students have done the assignment. We're getting closer to Greenville's biggest festival, Fall for Greenville. Food, live music, and fun return to downtown October 13th through the 15th. The city tells us it takes more than 2,000 volunteers to run things smoothly. They still need about 500 more people to help out. There are opportunities to sell tickets and wristbands and serve drinks. The city tells us all the volunteers will get a Fall for Greenville t-shirt and a sheet of taste tickets for each shift. If you'd like to volunteer for four or more shifts, you'll get a free parking pass and five sheets of taste tickets. We have a link if you'd like to sign up on WYFF4.com. Let's get a check on that crash that just popped up on the map. Hannah. All right, I-85 northbound. We are seeing those slowdowns. My goodness, this is at I-85 northbound right there by Highway 290. You can see the slowdowns it's causing on your screen right now. We also have a wreck really quickly at Irby Street. That's at uh, Lakewood Drive. That's in Woodruff this morning as you make your way towards 221. But let's focus on this one, I-85 Highway 290. Here's a live look at that crash. I want you to leave at least 10 to 15 minutes early. We do have lanes flowing in this area. Only one blank 
lane blocked and that shoulder. So I do want you to leave 10 to 15 minutes early, but I'm not going to take you off the interstate yet and set up a detour. Now, if these delays continue to get worse, we'll talk about taking you off the interstate. Varela. Well, we've got a lot of clouds out there right now. A few isolated showers. It's breezy. It's going to continue to be that way off and on throughout the day. But otherwise, the coolest day of the week expected. Highs will be only 73 degrees for a daytime high today. Tomorrow, we'll start with those clouds, but we'll see those kind of gradually clear out throughout the day. And that will allow temperatures to rebound back into the upper 70s. Then look at that. We're going to say goodbye to the 70s for a while. Here come the 80s. I think this is Aaron's favorite decade. Oh, yeah, it's coming back. In fact, as we head into next week, there'll be a little bit of a warming trend keeping temperatures going as far as the mid 80s by the middle part of next week. Nothing sweltering and it is only temporary, but we are going to warm up this weekend and beyond.